वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल माई नेम इज़ मोहम्मद उबैद एंड दिस इज़ अनदर वीडियो ऑफ बेसिक्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल एनालिसिस सीरीज एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम इन विच वी हैव ए फिक्स बीम एंड एट सपोर्ट बी देर इज़ ए सपोर्ट सेटलमेंट डेल्टा ओके एंड वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द फिक्सड एंड मोमेंट ड्यू टू दिस सपोर्ट सेटलमेंट बाय यूजिंग मोमेंट एरिया मैथड ओके सपोर्ट सेटलमेंट इज़ ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड इफ द बीम सेटल इफ द सपोर्ट ऑफ ए बीम सेटल बाई एन अमाउंट स्मॉल अमाउंट डेल्टा then this settlement can induce very large amount of fixed end moment or very large amount of moments in the beam okay so let us see how we'll find out the fixed end moment for this particular problem okay in this problem we have a fixed beam like this this is our fixed beam and this is support a and this is support b the the support b of this fixed beam settles by an amount delta okay so this settlement is equal to delta and uh, due to the fixed end at a the slope at a is zero and the slope at b is also zero okay because the support is settling it is not rotating okay so the slope will be zero now in our previous video we have solved different types of problem having fixed beam and we know that the degree of static indeterminacy for fixed beam is 2 if we neglect the horizontal forces okay now what does it mean it means that we need two additional equations to solve this problem to solve this problem completely now how we will get those two additional equations so we will get those two additional equations by using the moment area method and the first condition which we will be using is theta b over a is equal to 0 why is it zero because uh, what is the value of theta b over a so theta b over a is equal to theta b minus theta a and from this figure we can see that theta a is zero and theta b is also zero so it will be equal to 0 okay so this is our first condition and the second condition which we will be using is tb over a is equal to minus delta okay now how we have reached at this condition so let us see this diagram so in this diagram uh, we are trying to find the tb over a so tb over a is the tangential deviation of b with respect to the tangent drawn at a okay now what is the tangent drawn at a so the support at a is fixed the slope is zero so if we draw the tangent at a it will be a horizontal line okay like this it will be a horizontal line now if i extend this tangent up to this point so it will be like this so this is our tangent at a now here i have written tb over a it means the tangential deviation of point b with respect to the tangent drawn at a so in this diagram we can see that the point b has deviated to this point so let me call this point as b dash okay so this delta is the tangential deviation and i have written here delta and i have taken this delta as negative why we i have taken this delta as negative it it is due to the reason that this settlement or you can say this deviation is downward okay is downward with respect to the tangent if this settlement is upward like this if this point moves to b double dash then we will take this delta as positive but in this problem this delta is taken negative because the uh, deviation of this point b dash is downward with respect to the tangent drawn at a okay so i hope you understand why i have taken this sign negative now we can find out the value tb over a very easily and we know the formula the formula is amx bar divided by ei uh, it, so tb over a is given by amx bar upon ei and it will be equal to minus delta okay so we will use these two condition now how we are going to approach this problem so this is a fixed beam and this is a indeterminate structure so as we have done in our previous video we will break down this beam in two parts okay so the first part will be a the first part will be a simple supported beam and we will have reaction r a sorry r a and r b and we will also have another part of the beam and it will be a fixed end okay and we will have fixed end moment like this m b and m a okay so by using superposition these two beams will give the same effect as we will get in this actual beam okay now the other thing is uh, which is very important here uh, this fixed beam will have a settlement okay because in our in our actual beam 
वी हैव ए सेटलमेंट हेयर ओके सो दिस दिस इज अ सेटलमेंट ओके सो दिस सेटलमेंट विल बी डेल्टा ओके नाउ लेट मी इरेज दिस मोमेंट फ्रॉम हेयर सो दिस विल बी अवर दिस विल बी अवर एम डी सो फ्रॉम दिस फिगर यू कैन सी वेरी इजिली हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम सो वी हैव ब्रोकन डाउन दिस प्रॉब्लम इन टू टू पार्ट फर्स्ट इज सिंपल सपोर्ट बीम एंड द सेकेंड वन इज एंड द सेकेंड वन इज ए फिक्स बीम हैविंग ए सेटलमेंट ओके नाउ नाउ आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द बेसिस ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल ड्रॉ द बेंडिंग वन डायग्राम्स टू गेट द एम बाई ई आई डायग्राम और यू कैन सी द एरिया ऑफ बेंडिंग वन डायग्राम टू यूज दीज टू इक्वेशन ओके सो लेट एस ड्रॉ द बेंडिंग वन डायग्राम फॉर both for the ssb which is this and for the fixed end beam okay so first of all we have a simple supported beam rb and here we have ra okay so as uh, you can see that there is no external loading on the beam so the bending moment at any point on the beam will be zero okay that's why the bmd of this beam will be a straight line okay and in our second case uh, we have a fixed beam uh, sorry we have a fixed beam in which we have a support settlement like this and we have a support settlement b dash and this is b this is a and this is delta so here we have mb and here we have ma okay so Uh, we are considering the direction of moments like this and this type of moment will cause hogging in the beam okay so uh, the bending moment diagram for these types of moments will be like this if i assume mb is greater than ma so this will be a trapezoid so this is our mb and this is our ma so this is the bmd for this problem okay now why i have taken mb greater than ma you can take ma greater than mb also because we don't know the magnitude of moments ma and mb okay that's why i have taken different values okay of uh, ma and mb now from the first condition which uh, we have written here this condition theta b over a uh, we will use this condition and let me write this condition here so the first condition is theta b over a is zero and we know the formula for theta b over a so theta b over a will be equal to am upon ei is equal to 0 okay so this equation will be like this now we are assuming that uh, ei is a constant for this problem okay ei is constant now what is the the value of area of bending moment diagram or you can say that am so for the first condition for this condition the am is zero because there is no bending moment so the diagram the bending moment area of bending moment diagram is zero now for this second condition what will be the value of am okay so the value of am is very easy to find out it is a trapezoid and uh, the value of am by ei ei will be equal to 1 by 2 and it will be minus because the bending moment area is minus and it will be ma plus mb times l what is l so l is the length of the beam okay and it will be equal to zero of course there will be ei so from here uh, after solving a little bit we will get ma plus mb is equal to zero so this is our third equation okay now we will use our second condition which is tb over a is equal to minus delta okay now let us see so the second condition is tb over a is equal to minus delta okay and we know the formula to find tb over a so tb over a is equal to am x bar divided by ei is equal to minus delta now am x bar okay we uh, we know the value of am okay as we have found out here and uh, what is x bar so x bar is the distance of cg of the bending moment diagram from b okay from b because we are measuring the tangential division at b that's why we have to measure the x bar from b and as we know that the bending moment diagram for simple supported beam is zero and we have only the bending moment diagram for the fixed beam part okay so let us write here so it will be equal to minus 1 by 2 times ma plus mb times l divided by ei into 
x bar so there is a direct formula for x bar and it is equal to m b plus 2 m a divided by m b plus m a times l by 3 and it will be equal to minus delta okay now after simplifying we can see that these two terms will be cancelled out okay and uh, we will get 2 m a plus m b is equal to minus sorry plus 6 e i delta upon l square okay so this is our fourth equation now we have our third equation which i have written here so this is our third equation m a plus m b is equal to 0 now uh, we can solve these two equations to get our values of m a and m b so let us solve this is minus minus so it will be m a is equal to 6 e i delta upon l square and uh, the value of m b will be equal to minus m a so it will be minus 6 e i delta upon l square ok so now we have got the values of fixed end moment at a and fixed end moment at b one important thing which i want to discuss here is that uh, initially this is our beam ok like this now after settlement the let us say that this is the reflected shape or you can say after settlement so this is our delta now initially we have assumed that this is the direction of m a and this is the direction of m b but here we have got that the value of m b is coming out to be negative which means that we have to reverse the direction ok or you can say that the direction which we have assumed for the m b moment at b is reverse ok so let me change the direction accordingly so it will be like this ok so this will be our m b now if you want to draw the bending moment diagram you can draw very easily so this is our reference line and uh, this is b and this is a if i take positive upward and negative downward and uh, what is the value of m a so m a is positive and uh, the value of m b is negative and both the values are same this is very important to note both the values of m a and m b are same ok so this is very important point uh, you can say that uh, these two values are numerically equal but the direction is somewhat different ok so this is uh, this will be positive and this will be negative so this is it for this video and if you like this video please comment and share this video if you have any confusion regarding any point please comment down in the comment box and i will try to answer all your comment as soon as possible thanks for watching and we will meet in our next video